Welcome back to Thick Rift Thursday. Zelda Breath of the Wild is my favorite video game of all time. And it's not close. So I am very hyped for Tears of the Kingdom. And the music in the last trailer that they uploaded is incredible. And tonight I decided that I'm going to do a little mini cover of the music in the last Tears of the Kingdom trailer. So let's jump in. All right, so I already figured out that it's in the key of E minor. So I can... I could do some of that. Not crazy, I'll be tasteful. I'll be tasteful, don't worry. <laughs> I gotta figure out the root notes there. It does a little walk up there. Okay, I think it's... Yeah, I think that's it, right? Just kinda hanging out over here. The chord progression is the same as the original Legend of Zelda theme, right? Let's look it up. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. <laughs> Dude, of course. Of course, that's my ad right now. <laughs> I'm gonna buy it, Nintendo. Chill out. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's it. One. Flat seven. Flat six. Five. Yeah, same chord progression, so that's cool. I like the callback. I have a pretty good idea of what I want the rhythm guitar to be doing, so let me just like throw something down. Yeah, that's that's cool. I'll probably like change it up and make it a little more intense at the end but just to get something down and like maybe get the drums going i think that's good yeah dude yeah dude uh, let's do invasion symbols again. I've been really enjoying the um, modern and massive invasion combo lately. Although I don't understand the symbol mapping for invasion at all. Where's the ride? Okay, I heard it. Somewhere over here. There it is. I want the ride to be there in between crashes, but I want there to be a lot of crashes. Four, five, six. That was pretty good. Let me do a little bit of editing. Yeah, I'm hearing some like cool percussion in, in the reference track that's actually giving me some, some ideas for the drums. I wanna have some hi-hats in between the rides. Yeah, so like there. Some closed hi-hats. The original does kind of like a metric modulation, like an implied metric modulation kind of thing right here, which would be cool to do in my version too. Yeah, that's so cool. It's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Really, really cool. Like that. It's a little drum fill at the end. Maybe on the floor tom and the snare. And then offset that a little bit. 
Oh, that's so sick. Man, I really got to step up with the um, orchestral samples in here because I'm not going to have this backing track to like fill out the whole mix. Oh man, I'm excited. There's a lot of stuff in this track. It's really dense and I want to recreate it as best I can. take there a little sloppy at the end punch it in nice let me play with the backing track so i'm not getting screwed up here two three four five six Okay, man, I can only hope to make my arrangement half as epic as the original. <laughs> By the way, if you guys want to download these Archetype Nolly presets, go to architecttigerstudios.com and you can also contact me about my mixing, mastering, producing services. The link is in the description. Let's go ahead and do bass. That way I've got that just low end reassuring me that I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> bass is there for moral support. Easy. You can't say easy and then immediately f it up. <laughs> bam, ba da bum, ba bam is what it's supposed to be. Okay, and then all of that. We're gonna need to shift L. All right, and then the second half goes. Yeah, I'm going all the way down with it. Sue me. Nice, nailed it. Let's like start filling out some of the harmonic information. Classic suspension. Um, got a little carried away there. What was I doing? That's important. That's really important to have those in there, the banana. So let's at least just punch those in real quick. Let's go ahead and start learning that thing then. How's it go? Ooh, that's good. Do a bend like that. Is that it? That's it. Let's see if we remember all of it. I learned it all, but let's see how we remember it.
good. I want the whole I want the whole melody to be uh, doubled. Well, not doubled, tripled, I guess actually, because I want a pair of left and right to do it a whole octave below. So like. That was a complete accident. Complete accident. I have to do that now. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. I wanna harmonize that. I could do that, I could go. Do a little boomer bend there, huh? All right, I think the guitars are done. I think the guitars are good. Now I need, I need just like production reinforcements now. I know what I need to do. I need to do a lot of production stuff and it's going to be worth it. I know it's gonna be worth it. Okay, so I took a few minutes off camera to charge my camera battery, take my dogs to go to the bathroom and feed them. And I came back and I sat down and I started programming the uh, orchestral section that I wanted to take from the original and put back into my version. And I got, <laughs> I got so carried away. I'm sorry I did it all off camera but I'll go through and I'll break down what I did. So basically I started with these strings and I just wanted this like bed of strings to kind of lay down low and give the mix some like musical, like harmonic musical information. So this is what I started with. So nothing crazy like just some chords. The samples aren't even like top notch samples. None of these samples are really like that incredible. Um, but for layering purposes, it really, really, really does a lot. And you'll see when I play the full mix. But next, I just doubled it with some choir. My samples aren't crazy, but I'll, I'll show you what I used. I used session strings for those strings. And then for this choir, I used Spitfire Labs. So I literally just copy the MIDI and put it down there and together it kind of just fills it out a little more and then i have the choir melody so i it, then i yeah so then i programmed the main melody the melody that i was playing on the lead guitar track and i'm having a few instruments do that along with the guitar and it just really really fills out the mix Then halfway through, I have a, another string track come in to play the melody along with the piano and the choir. So it starts to build the intensity towards the end. And that's also just session strings. And then staccato strings. And then after that, I got some percussion because uh, the original is really, really heavy on the percussion and I love it. So first, uh, the first thing that happens, it's not the first thing I put in there, but the first thing that happens is just a, a little suspended cymbal swell. Just to kind of get us into the into that section. Then I've got this tom sample that I found. It's actually a bass drum. Uh, that's what it sounds like. It's actually a loop. I just took 
this little piece from that loop. Um, and then what I'm actually playing, I'm pitching it up and playing it more up here. So they kind of sound like toms and not so much like a, like a bass drum. And then I also programmed some snare and then I found these cool uh, rim stick samples and splice as well. And that's actually also a loop. Uh, I'm just cutting it up. So all the percussion together sounds like this. And then lastly, I added some, some orchestral impacts and bass drops to just punch you in the chest. So here's what that sounds like. So all of that orchestral stuff together sounds like this. Yeah, that's awesome. I love how just that sounds. Here we go, the full mix. And you know what, for extra extra emotional impact, let's go ahead and throw my mastering chain on there real quick. All right, here we go, final thing. God, that is a massive. Before I started programming all this, all the orchestral stuff and putting in the impacts and the percussion, I said it was going to be worth it. I said that, and it was. It so was. I love this. When the official soundtrack comes out, when the game comes out and the official soundtrack is out, maybe I'll finish this because right now all we have is just like the music from the trailer. I'm so hyped for this game and the music is just absolutely incredible. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Thick Riff Thursday and I will see you guys next time. Peace.